Welcome RVers, thanks for stopping in. Uh, my name is Ty Davidson. I work over here at the McLean's RV store in Fort Worth. Uh, today I'm going to be walking through a 2021 uh, Grand Design Imagine 2800 bunkhouse model. Uh, this is for our virtual RV show, so feel free to stop in anytime, take a look at those videos that we have. We're going to have a bunch of content coming out. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the exterior features of the coach. Um, here right at the front cap, one thing that's nice about the Grand Design Imagine is it is a molded front cap. Okay, um, it's also gonna be, it's also gonna have automotive paint here on this front part. Uh, it's gonna help with sun damage um, and weather, extreme weather conditions, so you're not gonna see any fading or anything like that. Um, on the sides here, you have basically kind of like a bed liner type material uh, that's gonna help protect the front part of the coach for rock chips and stuff like that. Um, and then you also have another steel rock guard here that's gonna protect the bottom layer of that coach as well. Um, this uh, coach is set up for two batteries here at McLean's. We will give you one. Um, it has two uh, 20 pounds of propane that we have. We'll also fill those up for you here at McLean's. Um, and then also you're going to have your LCI uh, electric tongue jacks are going to be uh, super user friendly, really easy to use. If you want to walk around here with me. One thing that's nice about the Grand Design as well in the Imagine series is that it does actually sit on a six inch drop frame. Uh, why that's important to you is because if you can look in here, you guys are going to get a tremendous amount of storage, 47 cubic feet of storage, and it's all unobstructed. Uh, what I mean by that is a lot of times you guys will see when you have these bays like this, you'll have compartments that come into that bay, uh, but this is full pass through. You get to utilize all that space. This particular model does come with two door entry access ports um, for you guys to be able to get inside the coach. Uh, the biggest reason they did that is because if you only had one, you wouldn't be able to get to this back bedroom with that slide in. This one does allow you to get into this bedroom so you can access anything that you guys have inside the coach here. Um, here on the exterior, full fiberglass unit on this side, um, you do have your power ports here as well as your cable hookup. Here for you guys i'm going to show you later on um, what you guys can use to put the tv on that doesn't uh, take up any more space inside your rv guys here is an exterior fill tank for you guys to fill up your tank with water before you guys go out on your longer trips moving over to the wheels and tires okay these are 15 inch wheels um, you guys have aluminum uh, on there they are nitrogen filled as well for the warranty guys they do something that's a little bit different um, they offer the lion's head warranty. It's going to be a one year, no questions asked, full 12 months, as long with a five year on the tires as well. Um, with the warranty on Grand Design, you are going to get a one year comprehensive that is going to be front to back. And then you're also going to come with an industry leading three year structural. Okay, you're going to get a five year on the decals as well as an 18 year on the roof. So they definitely stand behind their product and they build them right from the manufacturer. Moving along guys here. We're going to jump into the uh, outdoor kitchen area, which is pretty nice. You have a two cubic foot uh, small fridge, so you guys are able to uh, put the kiddos drinks in there, um, snacks and stuff like that that don't take up space in your uh, main fridge. Um, you have your capital grill here. Okay, these side things are really cool. This is going to be your, um, this will be for the wind, so that way it doesn't blow off whenever you guys are trying to cook outdoors. Um, and then you also have a tremendous amount of space back here, okay? The reason they did that instead of the sink uh, was because a lot of times people put stuff that they use in this area. And so what they did instead of the sink was they put a spray port here, okay? All you have to do, come over here, you pull your little nozzle out, you plug that in, you can spray off your dishes, uh, you can spray off the kiddos if they're you know out getting in the mud and what have you. Uh, so definitely a nice feature to have. Moving on to the back of the coach. This does come with a full size spare. Okay, you're also going to have a walk on roof with a back installed ladder. On the top there, you're going to see that you have a uh, Furion backup camera port that you guys can purchase and have complete view of the rear um, of your camper whenever you guys are traveling to make you stay safe. Um, here, this coach is a 50 amp unit coach and the plug-in port is at the rear, so you guys don't have to worry about getting an extended uh, power cable whenever you guys are traveling to different parks. Moving along, 
This is gonna be your dump station here, guys. Um, you can see this is where your black and your gray tank pools are. Um, so easy access to that. They're not pushed up way underneath the coach. Um, also on this side, you do have your black tank flush. Guys, that's gonna be for um, minimizing any residue that's still left in the tank. You just plug that in. It's got tiny spray ports in there. As soon as you turn it on, it's gonna wash that stuff down for you. Moving along here, as we come to this side of the coach, um, I do wanna mention the fully insulated slide walls, guys. These are extremely durable. They have the same insulation that you would have on your actual slide walls, um, which is gonna be super beneficial to you guys, not gonna have any hot spots in the corners of your coaches. Guys, this is the other side of that pass-through storage. This is gonna be where your wet bay is. Um, super user-friendly. They set it up for you guys so you guys don't have to worry about taking so much time to get your coach ready or get it ready to go back into storage. Um, here you have your plug-ins for you as well as your additional cable ports. Okay, you have your quick battery disconnect so when you guys are ready to uh, put away for the time being, all you have to do is plug that. That'll cut that connection off. And then they make it super easy with the city water. They show you here that you can hook up the city water straight um, from the actual campsite itself. And then if you guys wanna fill the tank, all you have to do is switch that over. Okay, and then you also do have an, a uh, shower port here. And then underneath, if you guys can get over here and take a look at that, that's gonna be where all of your hoses come up and underneath. So you guys don't have to worry about uh, closing a latch on those hoses at all. Um, one thing that's cool is these are one inch thick insulated um, storage, storage doors with the slam latches. So they're built for durability, guys. And then also when you're pulling up, instead of the regular latches you would see on traditional campers, this is gonna have those magnetics. So all you have to do is put it up there and now you're hands free to put whatever you guys need in there. Um, here, uh, features of this coach will now move into the inside, okay? Alrighty guys, we've now made our way inside the coach here. Uh, first thing I want to hit on, right when you guys walk in, you guys have your control panel here. Um, super user friendly. It is also synced with Compass Connect, so you guys can access basically all these different devices uh, from your phone. So you can use your slide outs, your awnings, um, also your lights and exterior lights as well. Um, here you have additional storage. This is going to be for like that's stuff that you want easy access to. Um, obviously you guys have your three coat rack here and then you have a nice place to kick off your shoes and keep them out of the way in your coach. Okay, moving on to the bunk beds. Guys, you have uh, double over double bunks. What's nice about that is because a lot of times, you know, you'll have coaches that have smaller bunks so your kids will say grow out of them, right? This is gonna allow them to grow into this size of a bunk bed as well as if you guys are gonna be doing an adult trip, they're gonna have enough space to where they'll be comfortable sleeping in here too as well. Also underneath you have the breakaway bed. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna allow you to utilize all of that space all the way down there. Let's say you have a smaller dog, it's a great place for a kennel out of the way or obviously just storage itself. Moving into the bathroom guys, walk in here, you do have a residential style shower, um, very nice and big. You can see here, I got plenty of room to do what I need to do in the shower and not have to be too tight in here. Um, also, you have your towel holders here. Um, this is nice because these things are super, super deep. I'll show you. I'm not even touching the back end part of this, but that's all the way down to my elbow. Um, so you got plenty of space for the kiddos towels. This is a porcelain toilet as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about cracking it or anything like that. Um, moving over to all the storage that you guys have, you have plenty of places for you to put all of your shampoo, uh, conditioner, body wash, uh, all of your bathroom extremities that you guys need. Tons of storage down there too as well. And then you have a medicine cabinet behind the mirror that you guys can put uh, whatever you guys need. As far as first aid kits, it's a great place for it too as well. Moving out to the family room. Um, Guys, this is set up with the uh, Thomas Payne recliners. These are heat massage as well. Super, super comfy. A great place to sit and watch TV and wind down after you guys have done some hiking or some kayaking or stuff like that. Uh, there is an option to have a trifold sofa here. So if you guys needed an additional bed, you do have that option. Don't worry about that. Um, 
Again, like I said, the recliners are placed right across from the TV. So you have uh, the best watching ability from there. You don't have to turn your neck or sit at a weird angle to watch the television whenever you guys are winding down. Um, here's where you're gonna have all your plug-in ports um, for any additional stuff for the TV. And then you'll have your DVD, CD uh, player here. This is also uh, Bluetooth capable, so you can play your own music of your own choice uh, inside and on the exterior of the coach. Walk through here, guys. You got tons and tons of storage all over this. One thing that's nice about Grand Design is they understand the camper's mindset and how a camper thinks, guys. They, they wanna utilize every part of the coach that they have. Um, to make sure that you guys have can bring whatever you need um, and that you guys just have the most carefree experience that you guys can. Moving over to the dinette. Okay, this is a U-shape utility dinette is what I like to call it. The reason for it is because it's got so much, so many things that you guys can do with it. You can drop it down into an additional bed if you need to. The back here actually has a storage ottoman that you guys can take out and utilize for whatever your need would be for that. Um, and then you have additional storage underneath. Open this one up so you guys can see that. You have two of these, one on each side, okay? And then also I mentioned that I was gonna show you guys a way to utilize, um, utilize the table without having to bring an additional table to set up a TV outside. This is a breakaway table, so you guys can remove this completely um, away and bring it outside and set all your, set your TV, set any, uh, prep ingredients that you guys need to cook outside. Speaking of cooking, we'll go ahead and we'll hop into the kitchen over here, guys. You have an eight cubic foot Dometic fridge. It is a gas and electric fridge, so you have both both ways to access um, access that and make sure that it stands and is on for you guys. Got plenty of space in there for um, all your food essentials that you guys would like to bring um, on your next camping trip three burner stove, residential style setup. So you have the microwave above that as well. Um, and then you'll have your oven down here. One of the coolest um, compartments that you guys have is this one. Okay, this is gonna be for like pots and pans, guys. You have your, um, your pegs here so you guys can place in different areas to separate those pots and pans. Uh, just super useful, super useful way. Uh, for you guys to camp. Also, Grand Design is familiar with our fur babies. They know that those are part of our family. They wanna make sure that they have um, some of their own space too as well. So what they did was in this bottom drawer, they have a place for the dog water and dog food as well um, that can be pushed out of the way. You guys don't have to leave dog bowls around. Coming over here, obviously you got tons and tons of storage. Um, they really maximized in, the, in that uh, aspect of their coach. Um, you do have the roll-up uh, drain system here, right? The strainer, that's gonna allow you to set your dishes up there and let them dry. And then you also have your uh, stainless steel farmhouse style sink. Pull that out of the way so you guys need a good look at that. And then this is gonna be a residential faucet uh, with the extended uh, spray port nozzle as well. Also on this side, we do have a kitchen counter extender. So you guys can pull that up. Uh, it's a great place for coffee uh, in the mornings and, and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and do make sure though that whenever you guys are getting ready to go, if you have that up, make sure that you do put that down because you don't want it to run into the slide out whenever you guys are leaving. And then we'll make our way into the master bedroom area. Alrighty, so this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size mattress. Um, so you guys can use regular fitted sheets that you would at home. You do have hanging closet storage here for you guys. This is on both sides. And one thing that's nice too is you do have drawers here for stuff that you guys can fold as well. So you got tons of uh, clothing space for you guys. Also on each side of the bed, you guys have a built-in side table that is uh, equipped with power ports and USB ports. So you guys can set your phone. It's also a great spot to set water in there overnight if you guys needed to get a drink instead of having to get up and get into the uh, kitchen. Guys, and if all that storage isn't enough for you, we have additional storage here under the bed. 
This is a sliding uh, system where you guys can maneuver this underneath the bed and then obviously you can see the tremendous amount that you have there to put any additional goodies that you would need to bring on your camping trip. Go ahead and close that down. Okay, and then also this is has a pocket door. Um, it makes it a great utilization for space. Um, that way you guys can shut off, you guys can relax, unwind, let the kiddos do what they want to do um, and have that separate space. Alrighty, and we'll go ahead and head out of the coach. Hey guys, we're back outside here. Uh, just wanted to go over finally the uh, length and dimensions of this coach. Um, as far as the weight is concerned, the unloaded weight is just under 6,400 pounds, so it is going to be half ton towable um, as well, which gives you great capabilities there. Um, the exterior length is going to be 32 foot long. The exterior height all the way up to the top of the AC is going to be 11 feet 1 inch. Okay, your tank capacities on here are going to be industry leading. They are oversized for sure for a coach like this. Um, your fresh water is going to be 52 gallons. Your gray water is going to be 82 and your black will be 45. Guys, I really appreciate you guys spending some time with us here today. Uh, my name is Ty. I work at the Fort Worth McLean's location. Um, thank you for joining with the virtual RV show and thanks a lot.